now let us discuss about measurement of low pressure so let us see measurement of low pressure so now pressures below atmospheric pressure may be called as low pressure or vacuum pressure practically it is impossible to reach an absolute zero pressure because even vacuum has a certain pressure so that is why practically a zero absolute pressure does not exist so that is why low pressure is also called as vacuum pressure so the micrometer is the common unit of low pressure that is 1 micrometer is 1 millionth of a meter of mercury column and there are two types of low pressures very low pressure and ultra low pressure so any pressure below 1 mm of mercury is called as very low pressure and pressure less than a nanometer is called as ultra low pressure here as mentioned there are two basic methods of measurement of low pressure one is direct methods and second one is indirect or inferential methods in case of uh, direct methods the displacement deflection caused by the pressure measured pressure is measured and is correlated to the pressure so uh, some of the direct methods are mentioned here spiral bowden tubes flat and corrugated diaphragms capsules and manometers so in case of uh, indirect or inferential methods pressure is determined through the measurement of certain other pressure control properties such as volume and thermal conductivity and the devices are macloid gauge thermal conductivity gauges ionization gauges and radioactive vacuum meters so now uh, in the next section we are going to discuss about some of these uh, uh, the device working of the devices used for the measurement of low pressure now let us discuss about the devices used for the measurement of low pressure first one is pirani vacuum gauge so in this uh, pirani vacuum gauge change in the pressure that is small variation in the pressure causes change in the temperature of the wire and which changes the resistance of the wire based on this principle the pirani vacuum gauge measures small variations in atmospheric pressure so this pirani vacuum gauge is in the form of bridge and it consists of a single filament which is enclosed in a glass tube or a glass chamber whose pressure is to be measured as the surrounding pressure changes the filament temperature the filament temperature also changes and therefore its resistance will change the filament is chosen in such a way that it is very sensitive to the change in temperature due to change in the pressure so when there is a change in pressure the temperature of this filament changes and because of the change in the temperature the resistance of this filament changes a compensating cell is also employed here to minimize variation caused by ambient temperature changes the resistance change of this filament in the measuring cell is measured by the use of a resistance measuring bridge which is calibrated in terms of pressure so in this way the applied pressure is measured in the form of change in the resistance so there are certain advantages of this pirani vacuum gauge these gauges are 
rugged, inexpensive, and usually more accurate than any other gauges. So fast response to changes in pressure. They show very fast response to the changes in the pressure. And uh, they have got certain disadvantages like there is poor transient response and operations operation requires electrical power. So this is about Pirani vacuum gauge. Now let us discuss about the second device which, is, which can be used for the measurement of low pressure is ionization gauges. So these ionization gauges are used for the measurement of very low pressure. The maximum pressure which an ionization gauge can measure is about 1 micron. So this ionization gauge is as shown in this figure and it is very similar to ordinary uh, electronic tube or vacuum tube. So this gauge mainly consists of an envelope which is evacuated by the pressure which is to be measured and it contains a heated filament, a positively based grid and a negatively based plate. The grid draws electrons from the heated filament and collision between them and gas molecules causes ionization of the molecules. As the plate is negatively charged, the positively charged ions are attracted to the plate of the tube causing current I1 to flow in the external circuit. The electrons are collected by the grid and a current I2 is produced in the grid circuit. The rate of ion production is proportional to the number of electrons available to ionize the gas and the amount of gas present. Thus the ratio of positive ions that is anode current I1 to electrons that is grid current I2 is a measure of gas pressure. In this way this ionization gauges can measure a small variation in the pressure. The advantages of uh, this uh, ionization gauge are it has got fast response to the changes in pressure and it can measure wide pressure range with a wide pressure range. It has got several disadvantages such as some gases get decomposed by hot filament and its cost is high. It has got complex electronic circuitry and calibration varies with gases. So this is about ionization gauges.